Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to edit relationships on the Family Search app. And by editing relationships, I mean like add a divorce, an adoption, an annulment. I don't know. Anyway, so first off, you're going to have to get the Family Search app. So you will need to go to your Play Store or whatever it is. Ooh, blurs. Or whatever it is in iPhone world. And you're going to have to search family search and it should come up with the family search tree or the family search memories app you'll want the family search tree and then you'll just install that on your phone in my case you'll just open it because I already have it so the family search app is this white app at the top that says family tree. That's what the family search app looks like. I know it's weird how it doesn't say family search. It says family tree. But that's the family search app. Once you click on it, it should ask you to log into family search and bring you up to your pedigree after that. So let me click on the app. This is the home page. It should be your pedigree of your family tree. Um, sorry for all the blurs, but I've got to keep my life private. I'm actually going to hurry and climb up my tree. I actually want to, let me show you how to climb up a tree. You can climb up the tree by clicking any of the arrows. And it should bring up the next set of your tree. And then you can climb down your tree or close your tree by clicking the down arrows. Um, let me go climb my tree and find a person I want to be my example. So I've climbed up my tree and I've zoomed in for you guys a little bit and I've decided I'm gonna do this Dan Sl Daniel Slater and use him as my example. You can actually go to their personal page just by clicking the little block that's them their picture or name or whatever. And this is what their personal page looks like. It should have their details, um, such as birth and death, information on details, next to spouse, parents, the spouse, their kids, parents, um, sources such as death and marriage certificates, memories, which are generally pictures of them or documents or um, stories that have been told. Next is charts, which is just a way to view his family chart or his pedigree and then ordinance works that have been done for him or need to be done. I'm going to actually go so let's start here on the parents page. Let's say Catherine was actually Daniel Slater's stepmom and so we want to change that to being oh stepmom instead of a biological mom. We would just scroll down here to Daniel Slater. He actually is. Okay, so I see that there's two Daniel Slaters. I will probably need to look at why they're separated and combine them if needed. Work with me here, okay? So the black Daniel Slater is actually the one that is our Daniel Slater. You could tell by the ID. So up in the black bar at the top it'll have Daniel's ID and then the one that's written in black down below is actually has the same ID as the one listed above. <laughs> so that's how you know which one you're doing. For that Daniel Slater we'll just click on the little pencil here on the right that's in the bubble and it should pull up his parents. So yep Daniel Slater and Catherine and I'll be like oh I want to say Catherine's his stepmom so we'll click on her and it says right now it's listed as biological and we can edit that by clicking on edit and then change the drop down box to being oh guardian stepmom adopted mom whatever i'm actually going to leave it as biological because you know that's actually what he, she was and then down below you type your reason for why you believe it was biological and then you click save and it has been successfully been saved. Let's go back to Daniel and change his spouse and let's say that he and Nancy got a divorce. So Nancy here is his wife 
and right below her is their marriage date and place and we'll just once again click the bubble and it's bringing up just more information about the marriage or I don't know information about the marriage <laughs> and we can click edit and then click the drop down box click the little arrow or marriage and go oh the marriage was actually annulled this day or they were married this day and you just change to whatever it was you just click continue um and then it should save it it continues not working for me because I haven't changed any of the information so I'm just gonna hit the back arrow because I don't really need to change the information so I'm just gonna hit the little arrow and it'll bring me back to their marriage page and that's um how you edit relationships here on the family search app I hope this information was helpful if you have any questions, I recommend that you watch my original one on how to edit relationships on FamilySearch.org. I'll have that in the description below. Or you can um, ask me questions in the comment section below and I will answer those as soon as I can. If you have any suggestions on what I should film, please also leave that in the comment section below. And I'll get back to those as soon as I can too. And. I hope you all have a beautiful week. Bye.